This is me, logging onto a newly updated 1.19 server and loading new chunks with my best gear to hopefully find the new warden boss. I found an ancient city, grabbed some of the new weird blocks, and spawned the warden as I prepared for what I hope to be an epic and fair fight. He killed me in three hits. Fortunately, I managed to recover everything but my pride and went back to slaughter him like the little piglet that he is. It didn't even drop anything. It dropped a skulk catalyst. But killing the creature wasn't enough for me. It had injured my pride and Mojang had humiliated me. And I wanted revenge. You see, the developers themselves said that the warden was too powerful to fight head on and that was meant to be avoided. The objective of the warden is not so much to fight it head on. We want it to actually be more like you're avoiding it. I wanted to prove them completely wrong. And the way that I'd be doing that is killing the so-called almost unkillable mob with my fist. The rules of this challenge are that I can't use any weapons or armor. This also includes potions that deal damage, bows, TNT, shields, anything else that I can use to hurt the warden that isn't my fist. Now I know what you're thinking, wow, that's impossible, and yeah, it pretty much is. A bare fist does half a heart of damage. The warden has 250 hearts. This means I would have to hit him 500 times to kill him, and he only has to hit me once, and I can't just hit him and hide because his shrieker attacks go through walls. I was now forced to find more creative ways to protect myself, so my first idea was just to eat a few god apples and call it a day, but they're extremely hard to find, it's not like I just had a bunch later around my base. My second idea was to load myself up with different types of potions. However, none of them could give you enough protection to withstand a single hit except for the potion of the Turtle Master, which gives you resistance. But it also gives you slowness, which basically eliminates all possibility of survival. My final options were beacons. Beacons could give you all the best potion effects, including resistance without slowness. So with the strength of the beacon combined with the critical hit, my fist does five hearts of damage. This means that I would only have to hit the warden 50 times. And if I eat regular golden apples for quicker regen, this challenge starts to seem a lot more doable. Except there's one problem. I'm broke. To get the four beacons that I need, I would have to get at least 216 blocks of ore. I would also have to kill four weathers to get the four nether stars for the four beacons that I need. On top of that, if I were to play it safe and get, say, 64 golden apples, I would have to get 512 gold ingots, or in other words, 57 blocks of gold. Fortunately for me, a little while back, I had designed a small iron farm. Then another member on the server took that design and went absolutely insane. So we built this masterpiece full of iron farms. Let me show you how much it produces. See all these chests? Yeah, we can build the beacon. The next difficult step was getting the stack of golden apples. Fortunately for me, I already had a farmer slave that would give me enough apples. I then shoved one of their friends out of the building to show them all their place. Finally, to get the gold, I went to my gold farm atop the nether roof and sat AFK for a little while. This gave me enough gold for the apples. The final most difficult step was getting the witherheads for the beacons. I decided that the easiest way to get them was crime. You see, the members of the server built a city and established their bases in the skyscrapers. So I pillaged literally the entire thing and only found one witherhead. Like, this server member didn't even have anything useful, he just had a bunch of this crap. Wait, after I realized you can thrive off the hard work of others, I immediately got to work on a wither skeleton farm. Alrighty, let's see how well this thing works. The farm allowed me to get to my original goal of 12 heads for the four beacons. But now it was time. Time to fight four withers at the same time in the middle of the city. I'm just kidding, I suffocated them all in bedrock. You really thought I was gonna fight them, didn't you? You stupid piece of crap! I crafted the beacons and now I had everything I needed, but now faced a whole new problem altogether. If I were to go to an ancient city, there's a good chance that way more than one warden would spawn. So I built the beacon and dug out an arena under my base where I could control the amount of wardens that spawn. I added some decoration to make it look a little more like an ancient city, then I added a deep slate to make it look deeper underground. Now I hear you with the big question, how the heck am I gonna get a warden here? And I have no idea. So I started to do some testing in the creative world on how I would transport the warden easily. And I came up with a good system. I use a piston to attract him to a water elevator. Then once he's at the height I need him to be, I give him a name tag. Then I activate some water that will take him to the arena. So I dug a massive tunnel from the arena to the ancient city. I then covered up a shrieker and set up the transport system next to it. Now the only thing left to do is make the water flow all the way from the ancient city to the arena. Also, I feel kind of bad since my last upload was two months ago. So to punish myself, and I know I'm gonna regret this, for every sub I get this video, I have to win a game of Skywars. So, you know, if you wanna torture me, subscribe, and I will win a game of Skywars in your name. The time had come to spawn the warden and lead him down the passageway. I uncovered the shrieker and alternated jumping on it and scurrying behind the glass to safety. And sure enough, on the third time... 
it spawned. I started frantically flipping the lever hoping to attract it to the water elevator. As soon as it went up to prevent it from despawning, I grabbed it the most fearsome name tag I could think of. Billy. I went up my water elevator, tagged the name tag on Billy, and sent him on his merry way. After that, I myself hopped into the waterway, and pretty soon, after a little bit of AFKing, I had him right where I wanted him. For now, the pistons that I had set up earlier kept him from noticing me. But now, it was time. Time to face the moment that you've been waiting for and I have been preparing for. Time to fight Minecraft's strongest mob with my fist. Yes! Yes! Oh yeah, and if you notice a random dude running around, that was just another server member who wanted to spectate and cheer me on. He didn't actually help me or affect the warden in any way, he was just kind of there. So anyway, my pride is restored, and this is actually my first video over 6 minutes, so you know, uh... Congratulate me! Anyway, yep, that's about it. Like, subscribe, blah blah blah, yeah, I'm out of here.